guys, welcome back. So today I have for you a first impression on a foundation. So I just recently picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and I wanted to do a first impressions on it because I have never tried it before. So if you would like to see my reaction and my first impression, then just keep watching. All right, so I have not even opened this bad boy up yet. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. I've heard so many good things about it, and I wanted to do a first impression with my dry skin. Um, so I did get the shade 6.0. I'm not sure if it's going to match me. Um, in the store, it looked like it was going to be the closest to my neck color because I self-tan my body, but I don't self-tan my face just because it comes off. Self-tan comes off the face like five times quicker than it does on my body for me so it just is easier for me to buy a foundation that matches what color my neck is and not my face. This says that it is the ultimate foundation for a flawless looking complexion. This waterproof formula provides complete coverage and lasts all day or night with a moderate with a modern matte finish that never looks overdone. Achieve a blown out effect you would never thought possible for skin that looks amazing and stays that way. Perfect for all night affairs and other scandalous activities. This revolutionary formula is also coverable enough to wear every day. So it sounds like it's going to be really, really good. So as I said, I got the shade 6.0. I love the packaging on this. I think it just looks so, so good. So I'm just going to prime my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I'm just going to give my face a little bit of a mist. So other than that, I am not going to put any primers on my face. I want to see how this lasts throughout the day without any primers. So it is like 1030, I think, right now. I don't have my phone on me um, for once in my life, but I think it's around 1030, maybe 11 right now. So I'm just going to work this into my skin. One side, I'm going to use a dampened beauty blender, and then the other side, I'm going to use my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush just so I can see which one I like to apply it with better. So I'm going to shake it up. I don't know why, I just feel like I should. I'm gonna shake it up and I think I'm just gonna put it right onto my beauty blender, I think. I think I'm just gonna put out a couple pumps. Oh, that looks kind of light. Ugh. All right, we're gonna go on this side. So this side, we are going to put it on our skin. It's a little bit light, damn it. So it's definitely full coverage. I really like how full coverage it is. It is a little bit light, but I just put on some extra tanner, so I think it actually might end up being okay. What do you think? I probably could have gone with 7.0, but I didn't want it to be too, too dark. I could probably mix the two together, and it would probably be my perfect shade, of course, because usually I always end up having to mix. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit extra. I'm gonna put it on my forehead. So I feel like it makes my skin look so flawless, which is crazy because I feel like my skin never really looks as flawless because I don't usually wear full coverage foundations, but I really, really like this. It is super full coverage. It's literally covering like all of my redness. You can see here, just like the other cheek, I had like a bunch of redness right here. Don't know why, um, but it is completely covered, like completely covered. I'm in love. I think I'm in love. All right, and then I'm going to do the other side with this. I'm going to do one full pump on my FAD Kabuki brush, and I'm just going to work this into my skin and see which side I like better. If you guys have this foundation, what do you like better? Do you like the Beauty Blender, or do you like using a brush better? I feel like I'm going to like the Beauty Blender better, just because I usually always like Beauty Blenders better for my foundation. But we will see. Well, I definitely think it was quicker using a brush. All right, so here it is on my skin. I can kind of feel it on my skin, which is not a huge deal because it's just, I can just kind of feel it. I feel like if I maybe mix it in with some type of beauty oil, um, like the Farsali or the Marula beauty oil, I feel like I would like it better just because I do have dry skin to begin with. I feel like if I started with a nice moisturizing base mixed in with this foundation, I think I would like it a little bit more, but I do really, really enjoy the coverage. I think the color is actually pretty good. I think on camera it's showing that my neck is a lot darker than my face than my face is but in reality I think it's actually pretty darn close 
whenever I do like a foundation first impression kind of thing, I always do one side with a beauty blender and one side with the brush. And when I'm done with the brush side, I always for some reason pick up my beauty blender and like go like this and tap it in. I think I just like the look of the finish better with a beauty blender. I just feel like it looks more like seamless and I just feel like it looks better. So I would say I probably recommend using this, um, but I guess we'll see. So I don't know how long this is going to wear. As I told you, it's about 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock. My phone's not here. Um, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and then I will be right back. All right, so I have the rest of my makeup done, and I can easily say that I love this foundation. All my other products went on so seamlessly and I just feel like I have such amazing coverage. Like it's so crazy. I've never had such a full coverage foundation. I haven't tried the new Kat Von D one though. I heard that's really high coverage too, which I'm planning on trying tomorrow. Um, but I really, really like this one. So if you are a big fan of full coverage foundations, I would recommend this. I know I haven't had it on my face for very long, but I just feel like it's really nice on the skin. I think it feels a little bit drying so if you have dry skin I would make sure that you really moisturize and as I said before maybe mix this in with like a beauty oil and I feel like you would really really like it right now my skin is more dry to normal um, I don't really have too many dry patches at all um, but I really really like it does anybody else have dry skin and have you tried this? Let me know down below how you like it. Um, my dry skin seems to really like it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to check back in with you later today. So if I can't, um, I will write down in the description box how I like the foundation. So right now it is 12.30. It is 12.30 almost on the dot. Um, so I will try to check back in with you at least one more time throughout the day. And I will let you know how I have been liking the foundation. Alright, so I forgot to check in with you the other day, so I'm checking in with you now. So I put my foundation on this morning at 6 a.m. It is now 4.30, and my skin still looks so good. This stays on the skin so well. This is like the fourth day wearing this foundation, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So ignore the fact that my nose is all red. I've blown my nose like 800 times today. Um, and then kind of around my lip area as well, because I've been like blowing my nose like this and like, you know, being all gross. Um, but you can still see like everything still looks so good. My skin still looks very flawless. It's all, you know, not patchy. It hasn't really come off at all. I love how the other products apply on top of this foundation. It just looks so, so good. I am in love with it. This is definitely one of my new favorite foundations. I wouldn't wear it every day just because it is very high coverage. So yesterday when I wore it, I applied it to my beauty blender and then I put some Farsali Rose Gold Elixir kind of serum in the like mixture of it. And then I put it on my face and it still was so beautiful so it was a lighter coverage it wasn't as intense which is what I wanted I wanted to see if it lasted throughout the day as well and it did it was so good and I just love this foundation so thank you so much for watching I love all of you so so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys